Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Thanks for watching. This is number 19 on the practice test. Evaluate the expression 7 times r squared times t cubed. But we know that r equals negative 4 and t equals 2. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to expand this expression. I've got the c, uh, 7 rather. I've got two r's being multiplied together. And then I've also got three of these t's being multiplied together. Now, from the problem, we can see that r is negative 4, so I can go in there and replace both r's with negative 4. Then I can go in and replace all three of these t's with its value, which it tells us is 2. So I have 2 times 2 times 2. I have those negative 4's in parentheses to indicate that they're negatives and, not, and that there is no subtraction here. So we simply multiply from left to right, 7 times negative 4. Uh, by the way, we can ignore the negatives just by understanding that there are two negatives in this problem. 2 is even, so the answer will be positive. So we can pretty much ignore those negatives. 7 times 4 is 28. Now we'll do 28 times this 4. So I'll do the calculations over here, 28 times 4, 4 times 8 is 32, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11, so that's 112 now. Then I'll take that and multiply it by this 2, so I'm multiplying by 2 again, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, so this would give us 224. Now I can do 224 times 2 again, and I get 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 4, that's 448. Now I'll combine this with this last 2 right here by multiplying here by 2. I've run out of space, so let's expand that a little bit. 8 times 2 is 16, carry the 1, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 2 times 4 is 8, and that is our final answer, 896. Again, we know it's positive because in this being all multiplication, we had an even number of negatives. So our final answer is a positive.